Joining me now, Democratic Congresswoman from Alabama, Terry Sewell. Representative, good to have you here. Uh, and your governor uh, wanted to just put this out there, what he had to say uh, after he gave the order to take that flag down. I think that what I did today was symbolic. Uh, I think what I did today, I became the first governor to remove the Confederate flag. Uh, other governors have called for it in Virginia and in South Carolina. They didn't do it. Uh, I did it. So we know in South Carolina they are in the process of doing it because it was so baked in when, when they got the Confederate flag removed from the Capitol Dome and to where it is now. So many obstacles were, were baked in to get it off the grounds uh, that they have some more, more hurdles to go through. But for your own state, for your own governor, what, what's your reaction to knowing that he moves swiftly and decisively? Listen, I think that I, I obviously applaud my governor for uh, swiftly and quickly removing the flag uh, from the Capitol grounds. It's a lo long time coming, actually. You know, these relics of the past belong in the past, and they should remain in the past. And um, I'm, I was happy to see that he did that. But, you know, for me, it's one has to do more than just remove a symbol. Uh, if you're really trying to change the racial uh, t uh, attitudes in our nation, we should be starting with changing our policy. So I uh, applaud my governor for doing that, but ask my governor respectfully, expand Medicaid. Uh, that would help. So, uh, expand, okay, you, they're there, expand Medicaid. Uh, that will be interesting, especially coming today after we get the decision from the Supreme Court. Uh, exactly. But here's what AL.com columnist John Archibald wrote, quote, removing the flag or any other bit of our history, war history or civil rights history will not stop hateful white people from hating black people. and will not stop hateful black people from hating white people. Uh, when you hear that basic black and white tenor, uh, of that statement uh, and it's not so much about the symbolism but it is more about how we're treating each other what do you think where where do we go from here well I think that we should use uh, the pressure that uh, a lot of my Republican colleagues are feeling right now to really call for not only symbolic gestures but uh, as uh, that columnist said we have to call for real change and real policies that will change behavior I know that today is the second anniversary of the Shelby decision mm -hmm. which uh, went to uh, gut the, the Voting Rights Act of 1965 you know I um, represent the city of Selma and I'm from the city of Selma and uh, I think that you know if our if my colleagues really want to do something that is not only symbolic but meaningful, then they will support restoring the Voting Rights Act. I dropped a bill yesterday with Senator Leahy, the Voting Rights Advancement Act, which will do just that. It's a modern day formula. The Supreme Court told us that Congress needed to issue a modern day formula in order to get pre-clearance protections back. And that's exactly what we should be doing. I plan on being in South Carolina tomorrow to pay my respects along with the other members of Congress. Uh, but I hope that what we need, what, what, what will come away from this incident, this tragedy, uh, is a renewed commitment to doing uh, action that will actually change behaviors and policies that will actually change this nation's tenor. Democratic Congresswoman in Alabama's 7th District, Terry Sewell, safe travels to South Carolina tomorrow, and thanks for your time today.